So hello everyone, this is Deva and Elaine, and we are live at the Inspiring Women headquarters with a recap of our first day one. Yeah, so Deva, what is it that was most inspiring to you about our talk with Lisa Nichols this morning? Because we had her on bright and early. We did. I love Lisa Nichols, <laughs> and uh, she is really, she is a very inspiring woman, and one of the things that I was taking away from the conversation, she was really encouraging us to shine our light really bright, mm. but she was talking about doing it one watt at a time. That it's not like all of a sudden, overnight, you just have your dream and it manifests in a huge way. It doesn't. But it doesn't. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But that, you know, keeping your light going day after day and things build on each other. It's, she was talking about the overnight success that took 10 years to make. Mm -hmm. And how do mm -hmm. we sustain our light through time mm -hmm. when sometimes we hit the peaks and the valleys? Mm -hmm. Well, talking about the other thing that was so super inspiring about her was when she talked about not buying real estate when you're in the valley. Right. In other words, when you're in a down place, don't settle in there. Don't make yourself super comfortable and buy a house and you know set up home. She said that's just a place. It's just a a, a point on the journey. It's a, not the destination. And I thought that was really useful because I know sometimes in our lives when we get stuck in a bad place, it's like we never think we're going to get out. Right. So she's had some pretty tough times in her own life and is a great inspiration for those of us who might, you know, have those times as well. Yes, definitely. So we moved on from her to a power-packed morning. A power-packed morning, yes. Next up was Jean Houston. And uh, we were asking her about in inspiring qualities of women. And one of the things we focused on was creativity mm -hmm. and how important it is to be highly creative and how we can enhance our creativity at a time when there's a lot of change happening mm -hmm. in our planet. And yeah, she was talking sure. about a lot of the work she does overseas and she's working in the Middle East and in Africa and in Nepal, all over the world, and really looking at how can we enhance that creative impulse within us. Mm -hmm. She also talked about something that I found really interesting given both of our interest in archetypes is I was asking her, what are the new archetypes? Oh. I know, you know, we look uh -huh. backwards a lot at the older archetypes, yeah. which are still, still very helpful, and of course we use those in our work, but also talked about some new emerging archetypes like the midwife really focused on that being a midwife of what's coming in and also the evocateur which I thought was a really cool new uh, new archetype but it's about how do you evoke and see the possibility in something so those were a couple of the takeaways uh, and then from there it was a packed morning <laughs> we moved on to Barbara Marks Hubbard and Patricia Ellsberg their sisters so it was very sweet and inspiring to see them together but we also talked about archetypes continuing that thread and they were really uh, touching on this new archetype of the feminine co-creator, where you're co-creating with each other, but also with spirit and with the greater universe, because we are that universe in person. We are the impulse of the universe expressing itself. So looking at that feminine co-creator archetype and then diving deep into uh, this shift that we're all, at least we, are sh striving to make from ego to essence, and how do we spend a lot more of our life residing and connected and speaking from that essence place. So Patricia led us in a big <gasps> meditation around that. Yeah. I feel like breathing after you said all that. Yes. What a mouthful. It was huh? a mouthful. Um, but actually, you're right. She got us to slow way down. I'm excited now from everything, <laughs> but it was a, a deep dive in and that journey of going in so that we can also go out and mm. manifest a lot in mm. the world. So it's a great segue into the conversation that I had also with Liz Murray and Venus Opal Reese. Very and inspiring women. Really wow. inspiring stories, uh, you know, of their lives of going from being homeless and destitute to both graduating one from Harvard, the other from Stanford. But what really struck me is, is that they're living archetypes. I mean, their story is so archetypal from going from being homeless to finding their way home. And I said on the line with them that they really are my queens of transformation. And yeah. I really meant that when I said, you know, that's an archetype I'm looking at, which are women out there in the world that really have turned something very painful into something where they bring their full presence and beauty. Alchemy. Alchemy. It's like exactly. we're talking about taking the lead and turning to exactly. gold, which is a theme we've been talking about exactly. in the summer. Exactly. And so the queens of transformation are those women that really are doing that in their own life on a very personal level. And they're definitely two of my inspirations. And part of what they shared with us was around forgiveness. And I think that that's the biggest alchemy that I heard in both of their stories was realizing how they had to move from being, you know, victims of circumstance, victims of terrible things that have happened to them in their lives, and really turning around to see how they could forgive those who had perpetrated against them and take responsibility, not to condone what had happened, mm -hmm. but to forgive it and really find that compassion. And I just was totally touched by that, that they could put that out there into the world after having such horrific circumstances in their own lives. Yes. So, 
Wow, it was a morning. <laughs> it was quite a morning and really beautiful yeah. and yeah. very inspiring. Yeah. So hope all it's of you... It's only day one. <laughs> it's only day one. Uh, you can listen back. It's all recorded. It's all free. It's all available. And we hope to see you tomorrow for day two. Blessings. Blessings. Happy Mother's Day in advance.